Hello everyone. I have another card deck review for you today. This one is Money and the Law of Attraction Cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks um, based on the teaching of Abraham. This one is a 60 card deck and like it says it is based on the Law of Attraction which has been getting a lot of attention lately. So um, this is one of my go-to decks for just drawing a card and kind of refocusing um, and becoming aligned so that I can better become a magnet for the law of attraction. But it comes in a standard box as um, most of these cards do. Um, this one is from Hay House, that's the publisher, so you can get it at hayhouse.com or on amazon.com. Um, it doesn't come with a book like some of the traditional oracle cards. It has a little note in here from Esther and Jerry and a little bit of background and then the cards are just plain white on the side but this is what they look like so on the front it will say something like I want to harmonize with my desire and then on the back it gives you an explanation of how you can do that based on the law of attraction. So I will draw these cards. Basically um, I will take one, I'll stick it in my purse or I'll stick it in the book that I'm reading or something um, and just kind of try to align myself um, with the law of attraction and it helps me to focus on one thing I need to work on to get towards that alignment. Also, all of these numbers, oh, excuse me, all of these cards are numbered. You can see that, that one has a 39 on the top. So I will sometimes pay attention to those numbers to see if they have any significant meaning to me when I draw this card or if I see them throughout the day. If I see that number, it will remind me to think about what I saw on the card that morning. I like the pictures, they're really simple, kind of cartoon cartoony in a way, but in a good way. Like it's um, you know, positive and upbeat and happy. Because these cards are different pastel colors, another way that I have used them is uh, when I'm shuffling them and I go to draw a card for the day, uh, sometimes I will just kind of glance over the card but really focus on the colors and whatever color I'm attracted to, whether it be purple or yellow or green that day, um, that's the color card I will draw and see what the message is. There you have it. That's 
the whole deck by Esther Jerry Hicks based on the teaching of Abraham and I would just shuffle these like a regular deck if any of them fall out of course that's the first one I grab because you know what they say if one falls out you're meant to have that one but I'll just grab one I'll read what it says on it from the, for the day I can pivot from feeling bad to feeling good I'll look at the number 11 I'll look at the picture see if that resonates with me I read the back and then most of the time I'll stick it in my pocketbook or in the book I'm reading that day and I will go on with my day or I may even leave it on my desk I set it on my desk and look at it throughout the day while I'm working if there are any card decks that you would like me to review go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get those reviewed for you thank you so much